For all wiring scenarios, here are some things to keep in mind. All emergency lights must be on the same circuit and fit the power rating. Use either 120 or 277 volt lines. The input and output voltage must be the same. Here's how to wire switched normally on lights when there's a single control device that needs to be connected to the mini inverter. In this example, multiple lights are controlled by one control device, which could be a wall switch or motion sensor. One of those lights is an emergency light. The mini inverter provides local switching device override circuit, which, under emergency mode operating conditions, automatically disconnect the load from AC mains and connects to the output of the unit, assuring normal operation of the loads, regardless of the status of the local control device. Wire the electrical panel to the unswitched input on the mini inverter and the control device. Wire the local switch to the normally on lights that will not be used as emergency lighting. Wire the local switch device to the switched input of the mini inverter. Wire the mini inverter to the emergency light. When the main power is on, all lights are controlled by the control device. When the main power goes out, the relay in the mini inverter will bypass the control device so that even if the wall switch or motion sensor is off, the emergency light will turn on, powered by the mini inverter. For more information about mini inverter electrical designs, contact technical support.